We will prove an Euclid's lemma. The statement of the Euclid's lemma is very simple. If A is a divisor of B C with greatest common divisor of A comma B equal to one, then A a divide uh, A is a divisor of C. Proof is uh, very uh, simple. Uh, so it is given that greatest common divisor of A comma B uh, is one greatest common divisor since uh, what is given gcd of a comma b equal to 1 and therefore we uh, 1 is equal to ax plus by for some integers x and y let us multiply this equation by c we have c is equal to uh, acx plus bcy right since we know that a is a divisor of a therefore a is a divisor of a into c again it is given what is given uh, given a is a divisor of b c so a is a divisor of a c a is a divisor of b c this shows that a is a divisor of a c x plus b c y and consequently this gives us a is a divisor of C. So whenever A is a divisor of BC with GCD of A comma B is equal to 1, then A is a divisor of C. Now uh, we prove uh, one theorem depending on the greatest common divisor, definition of a greatest common divisor. Let uh, A comma B uh, be integers, B integers not both 0 not both 0 for a positive integer for a positive integer d for a positive integer d d equal to gcd of a comma b if and only if first condition d is a divisor of a and d is a divisor of b second condition whenever c is a divisor of a and c is a divisor of b then c is a divisor of d so this is the uh, theorem uh, okay so let us prove this first uh, suppose that we assume that uh, suppose d equal to gcd of a comma b then by definition we know that d is a divisor of a and uh, by definition of greatest common divisor d is a, di a divisor of a d is a divisor of b okay so first condition is satisfied first condition satisfied now second condition what is the second condition suppose uh, c is a divisor uh, whenever if c is a divisor of a and c is a divisor of b then c is a divisor of ax plus b into y okay so we have taken d is a greatest common divisor so d equal to ax plus by for some integer integer x and y but then c is a divisor of ax plus by implies c is a divisor of d and this implies that uh, this implies that second condition is uh, satisfied condition satisfied okay now conversely conversely suppose that uh, <clears throat> suppose d satisfies satisfies given two conditions given first and second condition first and second condition so uh, as per the uh, second condition uh, and if 
c is a uh, if c is a common divisor common uh, divisor of a and b uh, a and b but by second condition but by 2 c is a, a divisor of d so uh, what it means that uh, c divides d means any common divisor c it uh, it divide d or d is a multiple of this common divisor that means d is a greater than equal to c for any common divisor or all common divisor uh, this d is a greater than equal to c as a d is a greater than equal to c this means that this uh, d is a greatest common divisor greatest common divisor of a and b so this is all about the proof of these uh, euclid's lemma and uh, one important theorem regarding this hello guys thank you for watching video